Hi, uh, welcome aboard the Kilcullen Voyager. Uh, 39th day at sea. Wow, can you imagine? I'm huddled down below here, uh, braced down for a, a storm. It's blowing about 33 knots at the moment, uh, just a few knots short of gale force. Um, we um, are expecting some really heavy weather. Uh, it's from the north, which worries me a bit because I'm worried about being blown down, down over the ice cage. We took the southern route around the depression, some other boats went north, but I think the southern might get us through as quicker and safer and also a bit faster. It's really the build up to the storm and uh, this week in Paris, uh, John Montagu died, a very famous poet, uh, they're burying him in Dublin. Um, but I take from his poem, the sea, the water, in the build up to the storm, luminous, bleached, white water, that light in the narrows before a storm breaks. Luminous, bleached, white water, that light in the narrows before a storm breaks. And that's what's happening. It's glorious daylight, but the light in the narrows is sharp as we get ready for the storm. But I think we will survive and we will overcome. It's been a tough uh, two weeks since we entered the Indian Ocean. Um, Two days ago, I did something I never really want to have to do again, uh, which was climb the mast in a big swell and 20 knots of breeze. Uh, I had two choices, either to do it that way or do it in the shelter of the Kerguelen Islands. Uh, discovered in 1772 by a Frenchman. I can only imagine sailing in those ships in that 300 years ago in that part of the ocean, how they did it. Anyhow, he named the islands. Um, so my choice was to go there for shelter or do it in the ocean. I did it in the open ocean. I wore a clash helmet. I had uh, special climbing gear, an inch by inch. You had to do it very slowly because if you swing at all, you bang against the mast and do a lot of damage. What happened was my um, second reef came out in a, an accidental jibe and it crashed the lid of the island, which had a cause and effect insofar as uh, the loose lines wrapped around the halyards and then there was an emergency halyard and it got jammed. At the end of the story, it was a bit of a clusterfuck, so I had to go up to the mast because I could only set one sail. Oops, it's hard here going around. I could only set uh, one sail. It was like a car with only one gear. So I did it. Um, it's taken me a day to recover. I was physically exhausted. We did climb the mast. Uh, we got the job done. <laughs> Now I'm um, heading up towards uh, Australia, uh, hope to be south of Tasmania by about 400 miles uh, for Christmas. So it's all good, <laughs> we've survived this far. So thank you very much for your support and interest in the voyage of the New Colin. Uh, we're almost halfway and uh, I really look forward uh, to getting to the finish. So this is Kit Cullen Voyager here, out 15th of December 2016. <laughs> Happy Christmas!